Yo, 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 what is up, penises and vagina owners? It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to be doing some quizzes. Now, I know I'm usually on that gaming shit, but I thought let's have a laugh today. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Are you actually a nice guy? By Natalia Lobanova. Apologies if I said that wrong. I'm on BuzzFeed, obviously. Um, home of some pretty silly things. Um... And yeah, uh, without further ado, let's roll. Why are you single? Hmm. Here's your answers. I just haven't found the right person yet. I'm too nice. Women only like dumbass jocks. Not nice guys like me. I'm so nice. One time I saw this girl pass out drunk and I didn't even do anything when other guys would. Other cunts would. Haha, <laughs> no. I'm off the market now. I have a girlfriend. We're going on a mini break to... Bruggers? Bru Br Brugs? Bruggies? Budgie? Next weekend, my soul is a black maelstrom, a great madness spinning about a vacuum, the swirling of a vast ocean around a hole in the void. Da! Well, my answer is I just haven't found the right person yet. That's not how I'd usually answer this question, but it's, it's basically, you know, it's, it's the closest I have to... Well, to how I would really answer it, which is essentially from my experience and from my, well, from my life experience, love just hurts people. It's been used a lot in my life, in my family, in the people I know. It's a tool to hurt people. I'm not saying it's bad for everyone. If you can find love and you can be happy, then I'm happy for you. But for me, it's just... I don't know. I hope it'll change one day. The problem is me. It's no one else. It's me. I hope I can change. I hope I can find love one day. But I have way too many issues right now. Okay, next question. Finish the sentence. Feminism is a plague on society and the cause of all male suffering. The belief that people of all genders are equal and human beings with full autonomy. The universe is indifferent to human suffering. Or, I love my girlfriend. Now, the correct answer is, of course, the belief that people of all genders are equal and human beings with full autonomy. The last two answers and their options are completely unrelated to the fucking question, but I've picked the universe is indifferent to human suffering basically because, emo as it is, it's the fucking truth. We can sit warring over equality, over who's male, who's female, who has more rights, who has, you know, who who should be considered more powerful, more better, if that's even the right phrase. And it isn't going to change anything, you know, because at the end of the day, the universe don't care. So in my opinion, what we should do is get up in the morning, afternoon, evening, whenever, have our fucking breakfast, get out of the house, do what we do every day, come home, go to fucking bed. That's it. And before you know it, you've lived your life without fucking rowing about whatever. This was meant to be fun. Uh, sorry for all the depressing shit, guys. You finally found the courage to ask your crush out on a date, but she rejects you. How do you react? Um, I can honestly say this has never actually happened to me. I have so many crushes and I just refuse to ask them out. Um, possibly for fear of rejection. But I assume if it did happen, I'd move on. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Other options, of course, are... Hope my girlfriend doesn't find out. Lol. I wouldn't do this. I love my girlfriend. Given the choice between the experience of pain and nothing, I would choose pain. Nah became the darkness a little bit at the end there. Continue to admire her from afar. Slowly create a shrine, shrine to her in your room using pictures you have taken of her with a 300 times optical zoom lens. You stole her cat once. 
You cut off its fur and used it to make a pair of underwear for yourself. Now you sit in bed every night weeping over the rejection and repeatedly hitting yourself in the balls with a wiffle bat. Why? Because it's the only chance you've got of knowing true love, true ecstasy in her name. And also that cat shouting your shoes once. What the bloody hell am I on about? What is your preferred method of courting the women folk? IRL. Tip my hat off to them, greet them like the gentleman that I am. Good evening, milady. I then proceed to tell them how nice I am, so much nicer than their current boyfriend, who's probably a stupid jock. I strike up a conversation with them after being properly introduced in an appropriate setting and hope we find common interest as individuals. If we don't, I hit them with my baseball hat, drag them home, and make them cook me porridge. There is just one woman that I'd like to fuck, lol. My girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. We never love anyone. What we love is the idea we have of someone. It's our own concept. Our own selves that we love. So yeah, um, I strike up a conversation. Or... I just, fuck, I just sit and have a chat and have a laugh. I'm not looking for a relationship. Said that earlier. Just have a laugh. And if you've made someone laugh, you've made the world a little bit better. Cheers. And on the internet? No, but, um, send every woman on every dating site a message. Keep messaging them until I get response. Become offended when the response is a polite request to stop bothering them or beat myself with a shovel. Repeat, love is a numbers game. I don't really do online dating. Not since I met my girlfriend, anyway. She's real. I choose to initiate conversation with people who seem to have similar values as myself. Then, after building sufficient rapport, I may propose a date, but with no expectations or obligations. Actually, I just sit about and have a laugh with them, and if they become attracted to me, or think I'm nice, or would like to have dinner with me, I take a panic attack and run away screaming. Alright, next. Fuck me, this is taking ages. How do you describe yourself? A gentleman? Already dead? In a relationship? Or just, like, normal? Well, my option isn't here, so I've picked a gentleman. My option is, um, a hut trapped in a human form. Or possibly an oversized scrotum that wants to, uh, attach himself to a drip permanently feeding him Dr. Pepper while he shakily masturbates while watching the animals of Farthing Wood. I mean, I'm a gentleman. Favourite form of new media? Google, cause, YouTube. <laughs> Choose a fedora. Oh, okay. Um, uh, put the, the black one, I guess? Because black's my favourite colour. Well, Technically, I guess it's the absence of colour, but it's my f thank you, Dr. Loomis. Okay, so results. You got, you're an okay guy. Probably. Can't even fucking read that. Congratulations on not being terrible. Continue doing what you're doing and not blaming women for your problems. But, but, but the women are responsible for my problems. Every single thing that's ever went wrong in my life is is because of the women. The women and their their accursed lady bits and, and their their demonic souls and their, their pheromones that, that lure us men in and then they trap us in their Venus fly flaps. They're evil. They need to be destroyed. Burned Yes, yes, I hear you, God. I will kill the whores. I will kill them. The whores have to die. Obviously joking, guys. Bye-bye.